Shalom Rastafari. Let's speak about the origin of Rastafari. What is the origin of Rastafari? Many ones will tell you the origin is here and there, and you almost hear that the origin of Rastafari is everywhere but Ethiopia. Here we're to bring forward that the origin of Rastafari, the true origin of Rastafari is Ethiopia. And just briefly here to show and prove the other half of the story, the other half of the story. Now, I'd like to share one sent I a video, going to check it out a little bit more, but we know the basic narrative, right? There we go right there. The basic narrative, especially, right, especially when ones and ones title their respective or respectfully speaking um, presentation as origins of Rastafarianism, the adding the fire bun isms and schisms to it. But yeah, we know academically speaking, in them academic consensus circles, this is how they articulate Rastafarian, they say Rastafarianism. But the elders, right, even showed I and I certain main points that are still right and accurate. It's Ras Tafari. Ras Teferi. Ras means head or prince in the sense of self, but literally head but as, a, as a title means prince. Teferi. The, in the Ethiopian enunciation, teferi, teferi. We say over here because of the English pointing, tafari. But the origin of ras tafari or ras teferi, right? Ras teferi, ras teferi, right? Is Ethiopia. Oh, teferi means the one to be respected the one to be feared you know in translation just in terms of translation right here the one to be reverenced respected and yes loj the line of judah and i and i ross to ross i adonis to far right was one of the first you know way back in the 90s just to get the other half of the story that hasn't been told of i and i glory because some were saying that rastafari means hey creator it's like the whole tune Sata Masagana. We said, love that tune, but in Amharic, it says something different. And so, you know, we help to put that word across, and there's an update to that tune as well. You know what I mean? Just to show and prove, you know, that we're not so called new to this, but being true to this. But this is the new wine, so to speak, in our time. When Yeshua said that he would not drink of the fruit of the vine. Yes, until, you know, he drink it anew, anew in the kingdom. What do we say? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Where? On earth? Is it on earth or in earth? <laughs> right? Got to check that one out right there, there, there. Now, I want to show you something right here. And this is not, you know, one would say a, a disc or a, a, a disc or a slight to others because many will say you know Rasta and the first Rasta and they'll link it with Jamaica and some would even say well the Rasta and Rastafarianism or this ism or Rastafarian and this and and what you know begins in Jamaica but that is a half of the story right but that's not really the first the first half can I get to the first half right the first half of the story right the first half what's the first half of the story first half of the story is that Rastafari origin of Rastafari is Ethiopia right is Ethiopia and we can show and prove because many will say well the Ethiopians didn't check for Rastafari how let's say like that like these Rastafarians these, these Jamaicans or whatever right but what they don't know is what they don't know and so here's the half of the story, what they don't know. I'm going to show and prove right here, here, here. So this is a slice. This is a slice of Rastafari. This is a slice of the history of Rastafari, what some call Rastafarian and ism and all this, and of the first um, Rastas. Now remember we told you and we showed and proved this from over 20-something years. It's good to see 
even with the youths and the new generation getting into, you know, that receipts. You know, somebody tell you it means this. Well, you go look it up, find out. We say Rastafari doesn't mean head creator, right? Rastafari means the head to be reverenced, the head to be respected, right? That prince to be reverenced, the head to be respected, right? So, but here, this particular video here, there's no slight. We're not trying to make a slight right here, but this is just a slice. A slice. You know what a slice is? A slice of the story right here, 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 you know? And we give all thanks, you know, to the ancestors, you know, those who have come before us, you know, in this movement, you know, of spiritual, right, and temporal liberation. And to Leonard Percival Howell, you know, also, right, one of the top distributors of the voice of Ethiopia, of the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated. I think he has well being a member. But we know because it's a write-up within the voice of Ethiopia. And he was distributing that particular newspaper and document, you know, in the Isle of Jamaica. And no doubt it reached, reached to many parts, you know, reached to other parts of the Caribbean. But here, 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 this one right here, here, here is called, let's get this name right here. It's called, let's bring this down, right? This is from a screenshot right here because this is kind of what we want to address the other half of the story. Here they call this origins of Rastafarianism. Well, now we, you know, we hold to this teaching of the elders. We bun that because Rastafari. So you can say that, you know, Rasta in a sense. How about Rastaism? Can we say Rastaism may have begun, right? Or maybe the Rastafarianism. In that sense began but Rastafarianism right the roots of Rastafari are Ethiopian right and we're gonna show and prove even this view of his Imperial Majesty Haile Selassie the first Kadamawi Haile Selassie right is based on Ethiopian roots and Ethiopian origin we got the receipts we got the documents right here just hold on for a moment this is just kind of an overview. So the first Rastas, Ethiopianness, that's right and accurate, right? Then they say Hindu, revival, there's probably more to that, but this was just something that was shared, right? Shared with I and I. And of course we want to look into this more, but we know the general, the general rhetoric. We know the general rhetoric and the general reasonings and rhetoric. Right, that would make one think, well, Rastafari, Rasta, you know, or Rastafari, they might even go be so bold to say, in this movement of receiving or perceiving the divinity, this divinity, some might say Christ and skinny characters of the Black Messiah, the Kinsman Redeemer, as one of our North American elders, Reverend James Morris Webb. You don't hear them talking about Reverend James Morris Webb. We said, look to Africa, where a black man will be crowned king. In him, you'll find the Redeemer. Now, of course, some of you will say, oh, that's Garvey. No, you got to check what Garvey said. Garvey picked up on that word sound that was already in circulation in these here Americas, in this prophetic North country. That's why Garvey had to come to this wilderness, right? Because he was that black John the Baptist. Those are facts there, right? Facts there, scriptural facts, you know, one might even say mythological facts that have their actualization. Hear that, Ross? I sorry. Have their actualization right in our story in our history right some would say afrocentric and yes we say yes to that but even more so we say ethiocentric yes ethios even the bible says right with ethiopia this man was born there right <laughs> there or der was born over der right over der over were Ethiopia right and that reminds me of a prophecy that even many of the Christians you know of days gone by 
right? And even nowadays, you know, would point to for the second coming as lightning. You, you know, you know what it says as lightning. Let's bring up to the scripture, right? To the scripture, as the scripture says, to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not like this. It's because there is no light, that divine illumination, there's no light in them to the law, to the Torah, and to the what? To the testimony. So here, the testimony, they call this what? The New Testament, right? Matthew, the gospel according to Matthew. I introduce Mateos, Matanyao. Here in Matthew chapter 24, verse 27, it says, For as lightning cometh out of the east look to the what the east cometh out of the east and shineth even to the west so shall also the coming of the son of man the ben ha adam be so we have matthew chapter 24 verse 27 so how does it relate right here right because ethiopia is east it's in the east right ethiopia this man was born there right not going to go here right here but y'all should need to go there to psalms 87 verse 4 it says this man was born there isn't it interesting sometimes we have the messiah jesus christ according to the king james translation jesus christ right or somebody say jesse congo right as some of the rasta mind them Right, we have Jesus Christos, as the Ethiopian, the Orthodox would say. We have Yeshua Ha Moshiach, right, as the more Hebrew or Hebraic and Israelites and Yehudim would say. Right, we have him speaking in the third person, even concerning the Son of Man. Right, like it's like one would say, well, he's talking about himself. Well, it's kind of interesting when we really read. Right, but the only other one he talks about, like him, is the Abba, the Father. Right, does he speak about the Father? Yes, he speaks about the Father. Right, but not to get into those theological points, but to show and prove that Ras Teferi Mekonen or Ras Teferi Mekonen was already received and perceived, right, received and perceived, right within that messianic idea and that messianic ideal right before right we get rastafarianism or before we get even the first rastas now of course one's going to say we're going to have to show and prove right we're making that you know that claim right there we're not dismissing the claims even of this video because we're sure that if it points to some of the evidence yes there was a lot of you could say rasta movement right the what's called the rasta movement or those who would acknowledge the rastafari in the caribbean the caribbean the trans ethiopian ocean enslavement trade in the caribbean but also there was the first church of rastafari in louisiana new orleans new orleans new orleans anybody know about that got more evidence on that right there we had come across that in some early, early research back in the days, you know? Some information that pointed to it, some credible documentation, but was looking for more. And then what would happen? Katrina happened. All right. So but definitely, you know, if there's more evidence, that evidence will come forward. But the first church of Rastafari in Louisiana, New Orleans. We're talking about back in the twenties. Right, so I'm saying the twenties because this is where that lightning. This is when the lightning was striking, right? That lightning striking, and so who are we speaking of? We're speaking of the the Rastafari, Rastafari, A.K.A. Kadamawi Hadassalase. So who is speaking about? Who is speaking of? We're speaking of him, <laughs> right? Ras. And plenty potentiary, Algawarash, right? And the ear to that Davidic, Davidic throne. We're speaking about the Ras, 
Ba'ras, Teferi, Woden Mekonen, Ras, Teferi, Mekonen. Right? So, here, 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 right? We're speaking of him. Right? So, we're going to show some documents right here. Right? This is one point of proof. Now, I know ones will say, well, the Ethiopians don't see it like that. You, you're talking about this latter day? You're talking about this, the, 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 the careless, some of the careless Ethiopians? There's prophecy for that as well. Princes shall come out of where? Egypt. Ethiopia shall do what? Shall do what? Stretch forth our hands. That manifestation, that sign of God as a lightning, right? Cometh from the east. Look to the east. So we have Reverend James Morris Wet, right? Reverend James Morris Wet. We have to bring him in the equation because sometimes when one speak about Rasta or Rastafari or Rastafarian or Rastafarianism, right? Or what have you. You know, Rastaism, generally speaking, they point to, to Jamaica. They say, well, it's, it's Jamaica. Jamaica's the origin. And you hear many ones and ones saying it like that. Well, in a sense, it is the origin, right, of a, you could say, of a form here in the West of what may be generally called Rastafari or as ones would say Rastafarian and Rasta and all of that. But, because even getting into those terminologies, Right, the fullness is Rastafari, Rastafari, right? And here's where we have to go to the Ethiopian origins, right? Now, big up enough respect to the call chosen and faithful, right? Especially among those those early generations of Rastafari, right? That recognize that Christ in His kingly character, that recognize that Black Messiah, that that greater David, that greater Son, that whole Davidic and biblical and prophetic connection the elders who proclaim that we black people are the israelites yes it was the rastafari right it was the rastafari that first proclaimed that right you see there's two poles of rastafari two poles and you hear a lot of ones even amongst rastafari sometimes you know reasoning or ones might think they're arguing or debating this some who have a more so-called Bible or biblical or scriptural or, you know, one's might call Christianity, you know, but anything basically related to the Bible, right? That's the or that's the ground, that's the glory right there. His Majesty so says, right? But then there's the other, we could say, for lack of a better word, the other pole, like the polarity of Rastafari, so to speak, right? Which is the black revolutionary. Right? Some might say black heart minds, but the revolutionary, the warrior, the revolutionary, you know, that, that vanguard, you know, that strike force, whether you say spiritually in the spiritual warfare or from time to time when, when the time and the opportunity, the time and the judgment requires, right, even so-called five cyclic or even the sword in the scripture has a twofold significance. You know, we have the sword, the sword, sword, right? And then the literal sword, right? And then we have the so-called metaphoric, right, sword, that symbolic sword, which can cut or even can kill, right? It says, curse be, you know, he who do the work of the Lord deceitfully and holds back his sword from blood. Blood, scripturally, according to its metaphor, right, is a symbol of life. Blood is life. Right, so that means that the sword, the word, must affect our life, our liberty. So, hail and salutations to those faithful early, you say, generation, you right, of the Rastafari movement in Jamaica, right? Because by that time, the light had already, right, come from Ethiopia. The land of our fathers, land where the Elohim loved to be, or ones might translate that as the gods. But remember that it was a black Jew, right? Rabbi Arnold Josiah Ford, right? One time musical director of the UNIA. Even that whole movement, right? From the John the Baptist, Marcus Messiah Garvey, right? 
to Christ and his kingly character to the Rastafari and Amari Halas already had begun, right? Even with Marcus Garvey, you know, preaching and baptizing the black people, right? And on the level of black consciousness, of a conscious of black and also of Ethiopia. We said, look, looking, you know, at the Bible through the spectacles of Ethiopia. And at that time, wasn't like nowadays. You look at, you know, the Ethiopian Christians and church, and you see a lot of Roman Catholic pictures have infiltrated. That was not the Ethiopia, right, of our ancestors, right, here in the diaspora, here in the Americas, cuz, right, this North country, North America, and the Caribbean, right? We all are black Americans now. <laughs> Ah, uh, but you always want me to say, my this North Country, that's prophecy right there. And from all of the countries, Muta Baruka got an interesting song called Canaan Land. At the end of it, he points out this very significant prophecy from Jeremiah, Hermias, Jeremiah, right? Concerning, you know, this coming out of Babylon, this being called out of the north country and from all the countries. So Garvey came into the wilderness to fulfill the role he had to fulfill. So there, called chosen and faithful Rastafari elders, right, of the past and present, right, were and are right and exact. But even Marcus Messiah Garvey, even John the Baptist had lost his head. Right? Because he was off-ended. See, we're not going to get into the Marcus Garvey reasonment right here, here, here. You know, some might, the truth is an offense, but it's not a lie. Right? But let's go right here, here, here. So we have even the locks in Ethiopia. Look at the locks in Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. Some would tell you that the dreadlocks come from the Sajus of India. Well, where in the world did those who were in Jamaica... Right, see the Asadju. Where they where do they see this? Yeah, now you can look it up on the internet, but we're talking about back then, way back then. Where where they get this idea from? All right. They got the idea because of the dissemination of what is called historically you can look this up, Ethiopianism. Right? This Ethiopianist movement that really rose here in this North Country. Right? Even among the so called black Americans. Right up here in this north country, but you see the thing about it is like what the Torah says, right to the to the to the law and to the testament. The Torah says that there should be one law, one Torah, one orit, one direction instruction, right for the homeborn and for he who sojourns amongst us. That's why I was saying that we're all black Americans now, but you know, once one get on this divide and conquer, you know, what's that? Satan, the Satanists, and all the rest of the enemies and adversary and ops, right? They will seek to sow seeds of discord among brothers, right? So you hear a lot of the FBA, you know, and there's some right points there, and then you know, this backlash against you know our brothers from over here, over there. But if you sojourn with us. According to Ha Torah, you are one of us. So if it's like the Israelites say that Jamaica and the Caribbean is Benjamin, Benjamin, Yaman, Jaman, Benjamin, and we up here in this North Country, so-called North American Negro, is Yehuda, is Judah. Then when they sojourn amongst us, as in the past days, they become one of us. That's why Paul, right, Hawaii. You know, Paulo, Rabbi Shaul, a.k.a. the apostles of the Gentiles, our brother Paul, when he identifies himself, he says, like, are they Israelites? I'm an Israelite. They're Hebrews. I'm a Hebrew. Right? And, and he says that he's a Yehudi. He's a Jew. He's a Judahite. Right? But he's also of the tribe of Benjamin. How can that be? That can only be if you know, right, I and I. My royal order of the Ethiopian Hebrew story. If you know, if you recognize the roots, you recognize the truth. Right? So we see the Bahita we right here in Ethiopia. How long were they doing this in Ethiopia? Are they doing this because of the sad Jews? Right? <laughs> Sounds strange, right? The sad Jews of India, no disrespect to the sad Jews. 
Because one will say, well, you see his majesty and with this particular one. Yet we recognize all that, respectfully speaking. But when one says, well, the locks actually originate in India, right, amongst a particular religious group, right, known as the Sajus, and then you're going to fly over the Bahitawi, the Batawi, Bahitawi of Ethiopia, and this ancient tribe, this ancient tradition, and then still call yourself Rasta, even Rasta, much more so Rastafari. So we want to show this right here, 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 because some, you know, will give you a wrong impression. But like a prophet of old, a monk exhorts the faithful at Lalibela, Ethiopia's at the city to Jerusalem, New Jerusalem, right? Then point to the pages, right? The wayfaring preacher lives on alms. That's the charitable gifts of the people. As he spreads the gospel, that's the good news, among all who will listen. Listen good. Listen, listen. Right? So here, this is the origin of the locks that are called dreadlocks among the called, chosen, and faithful Rastafari. This is the origin. Now, speaking about locks in other places, ancient times, yeah, there's a lot of similarities. Let's study those things. But let's overstand what they call it in court and law, um, the chain of custody, right? The chain of custody. Because what they say, possession is nine tenths of the law, right? So the name Rastafari should show you that that's not a Jamaican word. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you might find Rasta in India, right? But we're not talking about Rasta. We're talking about Rastafari. Rastafari. His name wasn't Rasta. It was Rastafari. So we have to understand, you know, like when we people, the children, might do a thing. But where this thing might, might abbreviate from the thing that he's doing for I and I and for we, right? Because that's, that, that's like the, the story of old, right? So right here, here, Haile Selassie, the emperor of Ethiopia during the 20th century, was regarded as the Messiah of all black people? Question mark. Now, of course, some would deny it, but when we start, start to look at our ancestors, right? Ethiopian, the home and abroad royal order, right? Ethiopian Hebrew, you look at us over here. Are you not as the children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel? So over here. We start to look at that generation and their testimonies historically. Get the receipts. Facts are there. All right? The Black Messiah. You talk about the rise of the Black Messiah. His Majesty already, right, was risen. Right? He always was risen. Right? The King of Kings, 72 nations, fulfilling that biblical ancient prophecies there. The only other black person to have an entire religion built around them was Yeshua, was Jesus. And that's what Yeshua, aka Jesus, said would be my, that second advent. I know this might be hard for ones and ones to really understand, right? but they need to understand right, the Bible, right? the Gospels, right? and that groundation as Yeshua himself says, Y'all, ye worship that which you know not. We know what we worship for salvations of the Jews. I'm not talking about the Jews, 740 A.D. now. No, we're talking about Yehuda, the Lion of Judah. Moreover, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. We're talking about a people, a culture. Right? If, if he was some European or somewhere in Europe, everybody would say, this is, this is the time of the kingdom of God. You know what I mean? And I know, this brother here says, I know, Yeshua or Jesus was black because the court found him guilty. They wanted to talk about his majesty this and majesty that. Even when they say his majesty denied being Christ. Read what they tell you he said and nowhere there does he even say Christ. So if I'm denying that I'm something you would expect me to say I'm denying that I'm that something. I name that something. 
You see, go back to that same thing. You, you, you know, I don't know if it's cognitive dissonance, right, or counterfeit Christianity, which is uh, cognitive dissonance. You know what I mean? The counterfeit Christianity that makes them hear that. You know, it reminds me of what the Nahash, the serpent, did in the garden. You know that trick. That's what it said, be wise as a serpent, harmless as doves. Right? We're harmless on this one, but we, we're wise on that little trick they do. They say, His Majesty denied that. And then you have a fake meme out there where he says, I'm not Jesus Christ, I worship God. But he can't cite where he is alleged to say that. You know, but it said in a lot of days they'll be doing things and things like that. That's why the brother here is right and accurate. I know that Jesus Yeshua was black because the court found him, what, guilty with no evidence. So even those who say his majesty denied being Christ. You know what Christ means? It means Moshiach. Moshiach. Who was Moshiach? The first Moshiach in the Bible was Aaron, the brother of Moshe. Because he was the anointed. That's what it is. If you read Hebrew, you know what I mean? You got to get to the roots. Who are you? Right? You know what I mean? If, if you don't understand what Yeshua said, right? Salvation is of who? Right? That's why there's so many demon denominations, so much confusion around this nowadays. But if you even check the ancient records, it wasn't that sort of confusion. You know what I mean? Back in the time of the apostolic times and even going on for a good period of time some say a couple of hundred years but that's a whole other reason there we're going to get to this proof right the proof of the truth right here 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 right mm. they don't, don't want to be separated they want love and unity right want to show the eye this oh yeah here's the part that one to one say oh his master did not be in christ here look at this video listen to this and then some people listen to it and when they hear it, they say, yeah, he denied it. I said, where did he even say Christ? Show me or, or point to it or play it back or whatever. You know, his majesty said this, right? Emperor of Ethiopia, actually king of kings. The, the translation says emperor. The Amharic says king of kings. I have heard of that idea. I also met certain Rastafarians. I told them clearly that I am a man, that I am mortal, and that I will be replaced by the oncoming generation, and that they should never make a mistake in assuming or pretending that a human being is emanated from a deity. People say, look, right there. That's why he said he's not Christ. His master says to, notice, if you listen to the whole thing, right? The, the reporter Bill McNeil aboard the Royal Train Canada 1967 says this there are millions of Christians throughout the world your Imperial Majesty who regard you as the reincarnation of Jesus Jesus Christ of Jesus Christ and he says I've heard of that idea I also met certain Rastafarians I told them clearly that I'm a man, that I'm mortal, and that I will be replaced by the oncoming generation. And that they should never make a mistake in pretending or assuming that a human being is emanated from a deity. Now, why is this true? It's, it's true because in the beginning, right, Elohim, Xavier Elohim, created man, right? in his image and after his likeness he then emanate man you see you have to look at what emanation philosophy is and why it's so important you know what is said here and even in the audible of this particular interview after his master says that the commentator bill mcneil aboard the royal canada train 1967 he said despite this clear declaration Right? Millions of Ethiopians still regard him as, you know, in those, you could say, that divine or that prophetic context. And for good reason. Right? For good reason. When you understand, you know, the real second advent or the second coming according to scripture. Now, here is where we like to, some say there was a categorical mistake. We saw that in a Jamaica in a Jamaica, um, I think, Gleena, right? And said millions of Ethiopians did not regard him 
as 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 Christ. But remember, Christ means anointed. Priests and kings were anointed. The first Christ in the Bible to say the first anointed, the Moshiach in the Bible, was the high priest Aaron in the wilderness. So King Saul, Shaul was Moshiach. He was anointed. And David was Moshiach. He was anointed as well. So let's understand this principle, especially, right, of the lion of the tribe of Judah, right, of that Solomonic Davidic dynasty and such heritage right there, there, there. So when the Jamaica um, Glena said that the narrator made a categorical error that millions of Ethiopians don't or didn't look at him at like that. And it wasn't just Ethiopians and homebos, what we would say from the generation before, the Afro-Americans, it was Ethiopians abroad. Whoever water touches land, you'll find Ethiopians there. Now I know some of y'all say, oh, that's a Greek term. See, y'all don't really know your own roots. You know what I mean? Y'all know your own roots. The origination of the term Ethiopia, right, is African Shemitic, Afro Shemitic, right? Yes. It's Hebraic, we, we break that down elsewhere. But here, we want to pick up on what is said, right? And what has been said. Because there's a lot that we can reason on, right? When one look at this, pagan means ones who are of the countryside, right? Let's overstand that right there. But let's get a still right here in this particular one. And let's now segue. We want to segue, right? Because the Jamaica Gleaner, when they said that, I was like, wow. But then people kind of use that as like say see they're lying on the ethiopians well this generation right but that song by shiloh any of you check out that song by shiloh what was that song by shiloh this generation right not every generation is the same generation have you even read the bible there was generation that jah jehovah yah brought out of mitzrayim smart tawi Right, the two lands called Egypt, Kemet, right? And he was not well pleased with them. They mumbled, they grumbled, right? They slandered the promised land. You know, like a lot of black people one time was looking to Africa, right? Then you get this slandering of the land, so forth and so on. And now we still are out here in the wilderness of this North America, right? And the Caribbean, right? But when they say that millions of Ethiopians did not look at him, right? in this we could say biblical divinity right this biblical revelation of divinity we could say christ in his kingly character let's go right here 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 to a few docs let's share a few of these docs so we're going to show you the whole document here now we have this as a pdf i'd like to go through a few of them this was shared and it's referenced right to some books and documents okay here here we go right here We'll take it like this, so you can see it much clearer, right? This is called Mawedis, Mawedis, right? Mawedis, which is, is a term like Wudase, Wudase, Mawedis, which mean like praise, like a praise poem, like a composition, right? Like in the Psalms, I will compose. To Crown Prince, you see the name right there? Ras Teferi, because that's the Ethiopic, more better to the Ethiopic enunciation in English, when they translate transliterated it, you know, they put an A there. So, you know, that's just basic translation. But we're speaking about the same one. Right? Crown Prince Ras Tafari, Crown Prince Ras Teferi Mekone. Crown Prince Ras Tafari Mekone. And in parenthesis, this is like before. This is before coronation. Right? Before kingship right kingship occurred in 1928 and coronation right coronation occurred in 1930 right and it's interesting because the pope is said to have become a king and the deadly wound of the beast those of y'all who know that prophecy there was healed right and the pope became a king this is where you get the birth of the Vatican. The Vatican's origin, according to, you know, um, the information out there, uh, historicity of the present time, is 1929. 
Why do you think the Vatican's origin is 1929 and Ras Teferi was crowned Negus Teferi, right? King Tefari, right? In 1928. And then in 1930, we get Negus Neges, the King of Kings, right? And Amawi Haile Selassie, who is also Negus, Negus Yisrael, Negus Yisrael, the King of Israel. And this is before 1948, right? This is 18 years before 1948. Look at God, right? So here, 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 this is by Deborah Kifle Medin, right? Yisadalu. Now, let's go down here for a moment because down here we can get to like when these things were. This one has 1921 Gregorian, according to Gregorian calendar. So we're talking about 1921, and also we have 1924. Uh, I just want you to see some dates, right? Some dates right here, right? And then we can reference these documents, right? Here, this particular book is out there. It's kind of hard to get, but it is available. The book down here, right? Gebra Xavia Elias, right? And Radolf K. Movair, Movair is a document called Prowess, Piety, and Politics, right? A, a research work right there. And what they're doing here is they're citing, right, historical documents, right, concerning Ras Tafari Mekonen, a.k.a. Kadamawi Hala Selassie, Hala Selassie the first. So I want to show you, show and prove that Rastafari, when one say, oh, this divinity, oh, he's, a, he's either a Christ-like sort of figure, so forth and so on, this already began not in Jamaica, right, but in Ethiopia. Now, Jamaica received that, most of the lightning shine, remember the verse, the lightning shine from east to west? So that means all we're doing is putting the true origins Right, the true origins into perspective. Matthew chapter 24, verse 27. For as the lightning cometh out of the east, that lightning, that revelation, and that's a whole other area of history to show and prove what went on in them days. Now, why is this important? Because Bible prophecy says that that day, right, of the Lord, Many people interpret that to the coming of Christ that day. And we can also prove my, that the visitation, or one could say the lifetime of the King of Kings, Kedemawi Haile right, among the Ethiopians, visibly and amongst us, was one day. If you understand how to calculate heavenly time, since a day with the Lord is as what a thousand years, and we come to that one day, Right, 83.33333. Do the math. We've done it already, but ones and ones can follow up. But here, as a lightning cometh out of the east. So, which one is in the east? Jamaica? Ethiopia? America? Well, here we're on the east coast, <laughs> right, of this whale of a country. Here we're on the east coast of America. All right, you got the East Coast and West Coast, but the context of this is the revelation, right, will come out of the East. Thus, we have a biblical phraseology of look to the East, right? That's a, there's a whole biblical and going to the Hebrew scriptures of the Eastern Gate because it said like the Messiah will come into the, his temple from that Eastern Gate. Right? For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even to the west. So we get that son of man. Now, is a son of man a man? This is to that previous quote, because ones will, you know, point to it still. So we're going to show and prove that his majesty was not denying, he was clarifying. See, Kadamawi Hal Selassie in that royal, aboard the royal train Canada in 1967 interview he was clarifying look up y'all right pause the video or make a note of it look up emanation philosophy 
And there's a good Wikipedia page right up on it, breaking it down. It's well sourced and referenced. And this emanation philosophy is what a lot of ones and ones, some of the Christians call like this new age so-called religion, as they would call it, or this um, like a cultic or something like that. Well, there is um, a, what do you say, spirituality, right? Right? Not all spirituality is the good spirituality because even the so-called devil or Hasatan also works on a spiritual level. Right? So it's some about counterfeit spirituality or counterfeit spiritualism, right? And not true spiritualism, right? Or the spiritualism, right, of the evil spirits, to put it in a plain, simple, kind of biblical way. Right, so shall also what the coming of the Son of Man. So, the Son of Man is the Son of Man, a man. Now, once we say, Well, see, he's saying that Jesus, because what Jesus, Yeshua, was not a man. Go ahead, and say that somebody who calls himself a Christian, Yeshua, aka Jesus or Yahusha, if you please, was not a man, he was not mortal. He was not replaced by or superseded, as it were, by the oncoming generation. Who was that oncoming generation? The ones that were called the Nazarenes that were called Christianoi. That's why the Gentiles call them Christianoi. They didn't call themselves that. Like ones call us all sort of thing. Rastafarianisms and all the schisms and all this nonsense. Right? So we have to get to the true origins of Rastafari equals Ethiopia, right? Before we get Rasta, right? And the Rasta movement, right? Or Rastafari movement in the West, right? And I also want to show and prove, right? That there was that Rastafari consciousness, right? That saw him within this very same black messiah and messianic context. Right within the 20th century, yes, that's a previous century. But remember what the King of Kings said, the King of Israel, right, the Greater David, the Greater Son, the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, right. What did he say? Replaced by what the oncoming generation. That's why we keep saying the call, chosen, and faithful to His way. If we take on His name, it must be by His way. This is why there's a big question mark in some of our minds. You know, what do we really mean by Rasta? Now, we might embrace it and see it in the holistic, you know, organic sense, right? Those of us who are Rastafari, right? But to the world, it causes some confusion, right? This is the reason why we have to point to the origin being Ethiopia. Let's give a little more proof right here. Let's go to the next, um, right, the next point of proof right here. So this is just like an overview right here. Now this is works that were written in the 1920s. I want you to check, check, right? Let's go through this. So this is concerning Rastafari Mekonin or Makonin, as one might say, right? Rastafari. The Rastafari, right, of all Rastafarians, in, that, in other words. Here's what was said. Your honor is like the kingdom of heaven starting like a mustard seed see nobody see, sees that mustard seed in ethiopia i want to say nobody but very few seen sight see that mustard seed that was sown in ethiopia remember there was the parables of yeshua which were to tell us what that time would be in his times when he shall shew who's the blessed and only potentate Right, that king of kings, right, conquering line of the tribe of Judah, root of David. As it is prophesied and seen in visions and said in parables, and you are greater than other plants of the kingdom, right, than other plants of the kingdom. Now, we have to put this within the true biblical or scriptural context. And for many of us in the West, because of counterfeit Christianities, right? The white Anglo-Saxon Protestant, you know, that white pseudo-supremacist, racist 
ism, schism, and all the other deceptions and everything, we over we, we pray for our brothers and sisters and we try to make it plain to them that we're not talking so-called religion. We're talking, we're speaking of reality, right? We're not being so-called religious, but being really just, right and accurate. So this was said concerning Rastafari. This is prior to and before the coronation upon the throne of great King David in that biblical land. So this man was born there. Right? So we're not just pointing to one or two. That's a coincidence. Like two things happen at the same time, two incidents. But there are many right, so-called coincidences. Right? Why? Because this is a revelation, right? Revelation, right? This is a revealing. This is an unveiling. What they used to call the book of Revelation, Apocalypsis, right? So it goes on, it says, As it is prophesied and seen in visions and said in parables, and you are greater than other plants in the kingdom. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, right? And all who come to you find shelter in the tree. The power of the Trinity, Hala Selassie, is the plan of truth. Now remember that Hala Selassie is his baptismal name, right? So his baptismal name is known, but he goes by, right, his, you could say that, birth name, because this man was born there, right? He who always waters you like a tree is the dew of the mercy of the word Christ so here is saying this is the relationship the symbiotic relationship right between the father and the son and we who are called chosen and faithful we enter into that right you know um, if you keep my words Yeshua says then the father will love you right and we and we and we will make our abode with you. This is the scriptural tawahid or that oneness. He who always waters you like a tree. This is why some of the early Rastafari, even of the 12 tribes, they were right and accurate with this. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior. This they revealed in the person, the personality of Hala Selassie, the first of Ethiopia. Right? So we're not saying that he is Jesus or Yeshua some might say that but he is Christ he is anointed right anointed right upon the throne of great King David in that biblical land of Ethiopia that we can point to some strong words of prophecy right positive you know, good and there's also yeah ye Ethiopians also shall be slain by my sword that's the word that's what we're given right here the word right that's what it says, false martyrs and exploiters will fear before your face. Who? False martyrs and exploiters will fear. Remember what? Ras Teferi. Teferi. The one to be reverent, respected, feared. Will fear before your face. The enemy advice of Jezebel, Elzebel, fell from his throne. From then on, when you become king, because they already saw this kingship, they already recognized this unveiling of prophecy, right? Behold, right? What it says, I will make mention of Rahab and Babylon to them that know me. Behold, Philistia and Tyre with Ethiopia. This man was born there, right? From then on, when you become king, Negus, Melech, Hamelech, right? The kingdom is a kingdom of mercy and forgiveness because you arrested the evil one so that he is like a dead man and down here you can see some points of um reference you know what i mean Re uh, reference to matthew chapter 13 31 right within that we're gonna go through this a little bit more but we're gonna give ones like a good overview right here to prove that Rastafari, right, the spiritual, right, and the really real movement, right, began in Ethiopia, right, this receiving 
and perceiving of the divine character right that's, that's why the Bible says in his times he shall shoot right you gotta check out the book of Enoch to really put things in the New Testament into context great events were heralded through prophecies and visions in the Bible so it is also with the coming to power of Hila Selassie right? and you have to just look at what occurred in his times these great events right both on the world stage but also for the diaspora the whole full rise of a Hebrew and Israelite consciousness is the, because of the birth of that man child they are as we have in Revelation chapter 12 and then we also have in Psalm chapter 87 verse 4 that's what it meant when he was ascending he'll come in like manner right he would be born right he'd be born he took he took on our humanity right that's why he created us created us created us he didn't emanate us he created us in his image and after his likeness so I left some of those verses on there right there for ones and ones if they want you want to go over this we'll share this document but for time's sake right here let's touch on the second exhibit this is a praise poem by a clergyman from Kedus Mikael's Beta Christian in uh, Tenta, right? In 19, in Tenta, in 1921, GC is the Gregorian calendar. See, and you'll find these revelations, right, from those who have vowed or have set themselves apart, right, for the holy life and the holy service. Right? They're seeing these visions. Right? They're seeing these visions and they're revealing it. Even they're revealing things before they even came to pass. So we get within this, there was that revelation that this one, see, we in the West wasn't familiar with, you know, the royal order and the inner order. So we, when we saw Rastafari, right, in the Americas, right, when we saw Rastafari, in Louisiana, New Orleans, New Orleans, and other areas in the Caribbean, right? In 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 in, in South and Central America as well. You see, this was this is that great awakening. See, that's the Messiah in the second advent that we have in Metzhafe Metzhafe Hanok in the book of Enoch. Gonna get into that as well. The first and the second advent, and then when we look at the New Testament. Right, when we rightly divide the word, we see it's right and exact. Hallelujah. Uh, Safari. So right here, here, let's touch on this word from a clergyman. Right? What does he say here? Hala Salase, which means the power of the Trinity, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the One. Right? Shema Yisrael, Yahweh, Loheinu, Yahweh, Echad. Right? Hear Israel, he who be, who he be. He is who, who, who he is. Right? Eloheinu, our Elohim. Ha, hail, 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 power. Right? Almighty one. Right? Yahweh Achad. He who be who he be. He is who he is. Achad. Achad is one. Right? I am the Father's one. Hala Salase is a gospel of good news that can save all. That can has the ability to right save all right that's what Yeshua left us with that even the gospel of Mateos of Matanyahu of Matthew where he said go and and and, and preach and teach and baptize them in the name of the Father the Son the Holy Spirit so Hila Selassie is a gospel of good news Uengel, Uengelion, the good news that can save all. Right? They didn't, they didn't say that will save all, but is able to. Right? If they shima ah, hear, hear, hear. Troubled mankind will capture or bringing out them hard sense, the good is receive you with love. And your savor is called judge. Your savor, savor is like a sword. It's called judge. Remember the sword? He said, think not that I come to, you know, bring peace like the world, bring peace, right? But I come to bring a sword, 
right? That sword, and your saber is called judge. Everywhere there is war. Notice, because even back in the 20s, the roaring 20s, why do you think it was roaring? It was roaring, the 20s was roaring, because leading to 1930, right? Everywhere there is war, cutting, judging between all, small and great. Haile Selassie, the power, right, of the Trinity, right? Bunch of grapes, you give happiness without end. Limit to those who merely see you. Not only to let alone those who are close to you. And also, listen, and also the God of all. Right? The Elohim, the Hilahim, the Almighty Power, the God of all, the source of all, the Amlach, right? The Elohim of all gave you to us to rule us day by day. It is better to trust you than to trust the nobles. And your thunderous, awesome name, right? Hakadosh, Baruch Hu, Baruch Hashem. Hashem, the Shem, the name was heard throughout the universe. To whoever begs of you, you will reign the reign of mercy, your generosity. Right? So remember, this is the East. Right? This is that lightning. Remember, it says the lightning. The light, the lightning. Now, here, 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 just let's look at some of the footage right here. Right? It says, Halas Lassi to this first note was Teferi or Tefari, speaking of Rastafari's baptismal name, meaning the power of the Trinity. Both the literal meaning and Teferi are implied in the words. So the same way it says that Halaslasi, the gospel, so also Teferi, Ras Teferi, that's what's implied, the one to be reverenced, the one to be respected. Remember the parable of Yeshua? He sent his son. He said they might reverence him. Right? Literally, covenant is a solemn promise between God and man and between marriage partners, bringing out that sense of what a covenant is. Because you see that these footnotes right here, 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 receive you with love. Right? They say literally, in the literal sense of what was written, right? It's a covenant. A solemn promise between Xavier and man, between Elohim, Hilahim, Yahweh, and man, and also between marriage partners, right? That relationship, right, is a covenant, especially when it's done right and holy, set apart. They said this refers literally to parts of the body, but it means that he judges everyone justly. So let's go to the next one right here, small and great. So the great in the bringing out the literal sense, the parts of the body, right? We all are parts of the body, right? As a true church, right? In the professing church, the true church, the church of Philadelphia, brother love, we are all members of the body, right? But he, Moshiach, Messiah, Yeshua is the Rosh. He's the Ras, he's the head. Right? And thus his majesty's faithful testimony, right, to Yeshua. That's what we say, and the King of Kings Christ. Right? Because he bears true witness, like Yeshua bore true witness to the Father. Father bears true witness to the Son. Right? So here we come to 435. Right? And also the God of grace, the God of all. <laughs> The God of all, and also the God of all gave you to us to rule day by day. So here they bring this out to say a reference to give us this day our daily bread. That's in the prayer that's known as the Paternoster. Paternoster, that's from the Latin. We say the Abino, in the Hebrew we say the Avino. Avino Sheba Shemaim, our Father who art in heaven. Right? Abuna Zebes Samayat. Right? We have that right there in the goodness. Right? Um, you know, um the Samayat Mitsunor Rabata Chinhoi in the King of Kings Royal Amharic. Right? The Patanosa. Through Teferi. Notice what it says right here. Through Teferi, 
Exalvia, God, the sustainer, Elohim, will provide. Now, bringing this into the Hebrew context, Yahweh Yireh, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Ire, Ire, Jireh, right? Yahweh Yireh, He will provide, He will see to. Last little foot of note right here is, and your thunderous or awesome name, your thunderous name, awesome name, was heard throughout the universe. Right now, here literally all the world. So, if you look at the original um, Amharic or Gutas of this, it brings out the sense of all the worlds. Right, all the worlds. So, you say, Rabino Shel Ha Olamin, master of the universe, master of like the worlds. Ha Olamin. Now, according to the Ethiopian traditions, God created 12 worlds, of which three are inhabited. What are these three? The Behira Chiwan, right? The biggest world. The Behira Bidzuhan, the land of the blessed, and this earth, the smallest. And thirdly, the world of the dead. The world of the dead, which is divided into the Genet. Genet is paradise. Like in the Hebrew, say the Gan, the Gan Be'eden, the Genet to Aden. The Genet is the paradise, the garden, basically. And then you have Sheol. Sheol, there's a Hebrew term, or Sheol, Sheol, the underworld. The ancient Egyptians referred to something similar as the Duat, the Duat, the Duat, Duat. And we have Gehanim, Gehanim, or Gehinom, Gehina, Gehinom, right? The Valley of Hinnom, or was referred to commonly as, quote, hell, end quote, in the fireplace, so to speak for eternal punishment of sinners, of uckers, of habitual uckers, right? So here, this is all referencing to Gebra, Xavier Elias, and Rodolf K. Movair, prowess, piety, and politics, but it's referencing documents and history, right, in the East. So remember, all this was going on in the East, right, before we get, we can say the various movements of Rastafari but one of the most you could say outspoken and you know visual and impactful of course was from our little brother Benjamin 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 remember Benjamin was was five times right in the Bible the scripture five times there's, there's a baraka for Benjamin right but it also was here in this north country as we point to um, Reverend James Morris Webb, who was the first one to say what Marcus Garvey kind of like adapted, but that became that word because he was that voice crying in the wilderness of North America, baptizing right so-called Negroes with a black and a Ethiopian. Are ye not as? That was the first step. The children of the Ethiopians are to me, O oh, children of Israel. Children of Israel, Amos 9 and 7. The last one right here, 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 just to get through this a little bit over right here. Let's get to the fullness. When we say the origin of Rastafari, right, in Ethiopia, before Rasta, right, in Jamaica, we just put in the other half of the story into its true context, right, and pointing to that key verse. You all see the key verse. But if some have just come in right now, 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 show them again. Matthew 24, 27. For as the lightning, the lightning, lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even to the west. So shall also the coming of the son of man be. Or in the Hebrew, the Ben Ha'adam. Now what's interesting about the phrase son of man not to get into this at length, right? But the Son of Man, the prophets, right, were referred to as the Son of Man. And some say that Yeshua, Hanotri, Adonai, our Lord, our Master, Rabboni, you know, I and I, Robainu, our, our scholar of scholars, our rabbi, of rabbis, right, you know, showed us. You know, within the word. But here, let's touch on this right here. This is the last Mawedis. 
It's like a praise and a poem, right? To Crown Prince Rastafari Mekonin, or Makonin, as we would say in the English, right? Pointing, right? Written by Aleka uh, Sersu, right? Sersu, right? The 8th of September, 1924. Now, right here, we, we would think it might be GC, right? Gregorian time. Right, or it might actually be EC, Ethiopian time, but this is all during the time, right, of that revelation of Rastafari and Mekonin, right, that man child, right, remember that man child revelation? She says, I'm a man, I'm a mortal, yes, and he made man in his image, he created man in his image, right, and then later on he formed him. You have to understand the process. On the feast of Saint Kedus Rufael, right? Rufael, right? Some say that's the way uh, Raphael elsewhere in the Hebrew is brought out. But let's touch on this one right here. Quote Everyone directs his steps to the place of hope where he hopes to get something good. Let your running word brought out in the sense of order. Your what kind of word? In the beginning was the word, the word was with Elohim. You let your running word order, right? That running word is order. Reach the highest markets, the highest, the most important markets. May your word have no limits. Let it be like Eor, Ayor, Eor. Now, Eor is said to be the third of the seven heavens. May it reach far, not like the false, right, and wicked word, right? Here they say it refers to the order of David through Don concerning Bathsheba, right? Remember we talking about the Bathsheba, Bathsheba? You gotta share that if we haven't shared that. If we haven't shared that when you see this, look for the Bathsheba reasoning, right, with Ross. Seymour and Rosh Yadin, you know, just vibes and coming forward. But this is interesting, ain't it? Right? Haile Selassie, speaking of Teferi, the one to be reverenced, you are the house of the Memphis Kedus or the Holy Spirit, the Ruaha Kadosh. Right? Sirha Sion. So here brings an Ethiopic phrase, Sirha Sion. Shining wisdom like the sun abides in your heart as it did in Gibeon why is Gibeon important? Gibeon right? and my mind is like islands think about that right there the light coming from the east and shining to the west and getting a lighthouse right in the island of Jamaica and in the other isles. It says the isles shall wait for your Torah, shall wait for your law. Right? What does he say to I and I? For my part I glory in the Bible. Right? That doesn't eliminate the revolutionary right aspect, right? That warrior, right? That Rastafari salvation, we say army aspect or Rastafari army of salvation <laughs> right aspect but here 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 and my mind is like islands during times or bad times when there is drought or drought right drought here yeah drought isn't this interesting right how that day that 83.33333 would kind of seal up you know what I mean? That day with a drought, right? Who causes famine? Is it God or is it man? Then I hope that when hope has gone, when that expectation has gone, because once you expect something, when it arrives, that expectation for it has already gone. Get what's being said here in this Moedis, right? Then I hope that when hope has gone you will be like the rod of Aaron the rod of Aaron very very important why do they mention the rod of Aaron 
This is why Gurma with Nagus Nagesh, John Hoy said, right, for my part, I glory in the Bible. That's for the call, chosen, and faithful. For with a silent, trusting heart, I shall remember it. The prophecy that he would be emperor, or in the Ethiopic sense, he should put a footnote here, because we're going to get emperor in the translation. In the Amharic and translated even to other languages that supports a more accurate translation, it's Negusa Neges, king of kings. See, the word emperor covers it up. A little bit in translation right and the emperador is different than but there's a whole back story to why the Gentiles do that but again for with a silent heart a silent trusting heart I shall remember it remember what what was it what, what was it that I and I shall remember the prophecy that he would be Negus and the guess the prophecy that he remember this is speaking of Teferi even prior to so that's 1924 right that's like six years prior to one saw that there right one saw that those in the monasteries the holy the holy people it reminds me of the same thing in the scriptures that we get there were those who who in the beginning the early days they saw right that upon the sun the bane elohim chayim but then later on, we get this kind of, you know, when the enemy starts to sow, right, his, his weeds among the wheat, right? We get those tears growing up. Lastly, when you return from Babylon, right, think of what it says here. And His, his Majesty did a tour of Europe. Remember, in Europe, there was nothing but European Christian, right, kings at all. Almost all had their hands dipped with blood, right, of Israel, of the Hebrews, of the Israelites, right, of black and even African peoples, right, Ethiopians at home and abroad. When you return from Babylon, become emperor. Remember the upgrade? Become Negusa Neges. Become king of kings. Let your news be like the news to Rahab. Brothers and sisters, look how powerful this prophecy is. For those who know their scripts, Rahab. We're talking about Rahab in Psalm, in Psalm, in Psalm 87, verse 4. And with Ethiopia. Remember that whole verse begins? I will make mention of Rahab and Babylon to them that know me. Do you know me, homie? Right? Or stranger that sojourn with me? Right? Behold, Philistia and Tyre with Ethiopia. This man was born there. So here we get this right here from 1924. Right? From over there. Right? Over there. Right? Ethiopia, this man was born. Now, when you understand the psalm in its proper context, you can see more of that messianic fulfillment, right? See, the, the problem is that the counterfeit Christians have given you a, a wrong order of the so-called end times, right? To keep one's dumb, deaf, and blind, right? But here, 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 the half of the story that not, hasn't been told, right? Until now, they leave out the other half of the story. You need to get the fullness. Note this ending here. For with a, because you notice the change in the language. Right? It says um, that Hala Selassie, Teferi, you are the house of the Holy Spirit. Right? And where the Spirit is, there is Ha Adon, there is the Lord. Sersa or Sirha, Sirha Sion. Shining wisdom like the sun abides in your heart as it did in Gibeon. And my mind is like islands during bad times when there is drought then i hope that when hope has gone you will be like the rod of aaron for with a silent trusting heart i shall remember it the prophecy that he would be negus and neges king of kings when you return from babylon become negus and neges king of kings 
and let your news be like the news to Rahab. Make mention of Rahab. I will make, we got to bring this up. I think you already got the verse right there, there, there. Right there, there, there. You got the verse right there, over there, right? Yeah. Yeah. You got it on pots, too. Right here, let's go here, Ethiopia. Let's put Ethiopia. Let's put man, right? I'm a man, right? I'm mortal. Like, you know, Yeshua, man, mortal, too. But also, there is the God life. The God man, even in what appears to be the mortal right, man born. Let's put born. Let's put born. Right? Ethiopia man born. Booyaka. Right? Uh, Psalm 87, verse 4. I will make mention of Rahab. Rahab and Babylon. Right? To them that know me. So that means they knew this scripture. And when they behold. We not behold the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. Right, der, 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 right? To them that know me, behold Philistia and Tyre with Ethiopia, this man was born there this what this man now that those words are not there in the hebrew but you have this in the translation we build on that as well that's what proves the divine aspect because the word is italicized right but still we get to compare this right comparing scripture with scripture it says for with a silent trusting heart i shall remember the prophecy that he would be negus and guest when you return from babylon Become Negus and the guest, King of Kings. And let your news be like the news to Rahab. Right here, 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 as we kind of seal this up right here. Let's look at this right here. This is page right here. So the first one is like Eeyore. May your word have no limits. Let it be like Eeyore. Right? And they explain that this is the third of the seven heavens. And this IE and S is, is to bring out the sense of may your word reach far. So here the footnote right here has Archangel Raphael. That some correspond with the one that some call Raphael. But here Raphael rules in the third heaven. Right? Let's go to the next one right here. 547. It says not like the false and wicked word. And here in brackets is the order of David through Don concerning Bathsheba, concerning Bathsheba. Here they bring it out as 2 Samuel chapter 11 verses 2 to 27. Right? In Ethiopia they say that David's messenger was called Don. In other words, if you read the narrative in 2 Kings chapter 11 verses 2 to 27, you'll see that um, Bathsheba was bathing. Right on the house, and me and the brother Ross, Ross Seymour, uh, duly elected international chaplain, you know, first unit, Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated. But we were just vibes in, right? And on this very section right here, it's about Bathsheba was coming forward, forward, forward. But here's an interesting note that in Ethiopia, they say that David's messenger, but what happened was that David had committed adultery, right? And then when one of his warriors, Uriah the Hittite, came forward, he was trying to encourage him to go forward, you know, and spend time with his wife. Because David already knew that what he had done, he had committed adultery. And Bathsheba said that, you know, she was child. So, you know, this is not a pleasant thing. But anyway, when the man would not go to, went back to the war, right, um, it is said that he sent a messenger. Right, he sent the messenger, and they said this messenger was Don. Now, Don is interesting in the Afro Shemitic sense because can mean judge and first like judgment. It first is judgment in the sense of not weighing a decision that's the Shafat, Shafat, and the Shofet sort of judge. But Don, right, even in the in the Yadon and Yadan sense, 
Don and Danya and John, what do you say, John Hoy, sense has to do with the execution of a judgment. So in Ethiopia, they say that David's messenger was called Dan or Don, that the son of Yaakov advising his brothers to kill Yosef, Joseph, was Don, and that Judas Iscariot, right, Yehuda, Ish Keriot, that was his like last name, so to speak, Ish Keriot, right, Yehuda, Ish Keriot, or Judas Iscariot, there were other Yehudas and other Judas beside this one. Check. But he was out of the tribe of Dan. So there's a whole reasonment concerning Don or the tribe of Dan. So this is why this is this is read right there. But let's go to the next line. Hala Selassie, i.e., that is to say Teferi, you are the house of the Holy Spirit, Memphis Caduce. And here has Serha Sion, that's the 548. Let's go to the footer right here. Ethiopians say that the house where the Holy Spirit descended, as we have in Acts of the Apostles, on disciples was called was called Tzirha, right? Tzirha Sion, and belonged to Maria, Mary. Now here's what's interesting. We know that where the Holy Spirit descended is called the upper room of Zion. Just to note that there, the upper room of Zion. Right, so we're gonna get into this a little bit more. Find our brother Hila Ross Tarudros, brother Tarudros. Yes, I brother Teddy Ross Teddy. So the the upper room. This is referring clearly to the upper room we have in Acts of the Apostle, and they give it this name. Not give it, but we get this ancient name of it. But what people don't know that that is called Hebraically, Judaically, the upper room of Zion. It's an upper room. It's not the same upper room where the last sup was, but it's another upper room where the disciples met. And it's interesting here. Hope my brother, you know, and I'm gonna tell my brother about this one because we've been having reasonments, you know, concerning Yeshua and and even Mary. Now, here it said this Mary here is the mother of Kedus Marco, right? Saint Marco, right? Or they say Mark, right? It was Marcos, right? The evangelist, the Wengelawit. All right, just a couple more right here, 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 just to seal up, right? So, here that's for the Sirha Zion, shining wisdom like the sun abides in your heart, as it did in Gibeon. Now, Gibeon is Joshua 10 and 12, you know, because time right here, 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 we can pick up on that more. But Joshua 10 and 12, right? For more right there. Got to leave, as my brother Cern said, a little bit of mystery here. Got to seek it out, right? Here, this verse, this line, then, I hope that when hope has gone, it's a, that's mad, that's very interesting, you know? Because the, the actualization does, in a sense, kind of cause a hope at what you expect. When, when you're expecting something that gets there, do you still expect it? So that hope goes then i hope that when hope has gone you will be like the rod of aaron so here this points to aaron's rod bloom and bore fruit in numbers chapter 17. so that which is truly in the name and in the glory of the name for my part i glory in the bible the glory of the name might have rastafarik and my house this word right like aaron's rod that bloomed and bore fruit even though it was seemingly cut right it was it was it was cut away like a branch a stick cut away and therefore seemingly dead or mortally wounded right what happened it still bore fruit remember Aaron was the first Moshiach priests and kings of Israel and some prophets were anointed Messiah. It's a part of our royal order. Lastly but not leastly. Now, lastly but not leastly it says, when you return from Babylon, become Negus Neges, King of Kings. After his majesty kind of had like a, a tour of Europe, you know, and certain places there with other royal, you know, royal sons. 
of Ethiopia are you not as the children of Ethiopian let your news he returned right to the throne of David let your news that's where we started to get this news that the one Rasta Farai right has become king of kings new name we have the slash let your news be like the news to Rahab here they point to Rahab within the sense of Joshua 2 and 12 Yehoshua right Yasu Joshua 2 and 12 so here here brothers and sisters sisters and brothers I know there was some on this first page I didn't touch on but we're gonna get into a lot much more of this right here we already went kind of over you know what we expected to but we wanted to give one's least this full exhibit and there are other exhibits that we can prove right that before we get this rise of Rastafari here we can say in the what we can call the diaspora right that we really have that firstly and foremostly in Ethiopia as the prophecy says right as the lightning you know shining from the east to the west so here just on the outro right there was one that yeah this one right here yes sir you know that was one of the iconography i think maybe a century or so right prior to my of how the ethiopians my the faithful children that church that sixth church we have in revelation philadelphia the church of he who had the key of great king david the one that opened and nobody can shut right and shut and nobody can open that's the only church that didn't get a rebuke, right? That true church, right? Not the apostasy we see today. That's what brings uh, Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 12, as many Israelites can, you know, verify. Ye Ethiopians also shall be slain by my sword. It's a kind of a judgment because they, in a sense, did in a similar way what the Yehudi, the Jews, did with Yeshua HaMoshia, right? But even in the Kevin I guess, right, there is a prophecy, right? There's a prophecy, right? There's a prophecy on that as well. So right here, here, here. Yes, I, Rastafari, right, we're going to seal up right here. Brothers and sisters, sisters and brothers, just give some of the word pictures, you know, the word pictures, you know, from the kingship, from Rastafari, from that prince, and what is truly meant when we say Christ people think we mean Christ Jesus no we mean Messiah right Christos is the Greek term for Messiah and that's Moshiach remember what Yeshua said ye y'all worship that which you know not we know what we worship for salvations of the Jews or the Judah Yehuda the Judahites even the lion of the tribe of Judah right so right here 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 my yes I Rastafari so here 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 I'd like to share this right here and we'll seal up with um we'll seal up roughly where we began right here right and with this right with this presentation Shalom Chabarim Shalom Yeshua Shalom